Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys uh, exciting news. I got my hands on the brand new Revolve 2022 C38 wheel set. It's their new and improved $1,000 carbon fiber wheel set. So I have a brand new uh, pair in a box right here. I'm going to open them up. We're going to weigh them. I'm going to show you the width with our calipers, internal width, external width. Uh, let you know what you get for $1,000 and why I think they're a really good um, bang for the buck. Full disclosure, I do sell Specialized. I also sell Scott. And then I have also done a video on wind space wheels, which I think this is one of the biggest competitors out there for these wheels in particular. But for a big mainstream brand like Specialized to release a full carbon fiber wheel with a DT Swiss hub, DT Swiss spokes, and then they give backing behind that to consumers in terms of warranty. You also get shop support if you buy it locally as well, um, which I'll talk about the warranty and everything like that. Uh, I think it's huge. So. We'll get into that stuff. But first off, right when we open the box, we get four extra spokes with four extra nipples. You're seeing a lot more companies do this where they're giving out uh, extra spokes when you buy it, which is always great to have. There are plenty of times where I've sold customers wheels and then they come back like two or three years later and I just don't have any stock because I never thought to reorder it. But it's always good to give the consumer that so that way they can come in and say, hey, I have these wheels um, and go from there. You know, it doesn't hurt for that company. We have the unboxing process. Right here. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Sorry, it is. What is it today? Tuesday. And it is. It's Tuesday at 11 o'clock at night. And my wife's been showing me TikToks all night since I got home from work and I had kids. And literally, we laid in bed and cuddled. And she, I just been watching TikToks for like two hours. And my mind is fried. And I was like, I gotta go do something productive. So I figured I'd go and talk about bike stuff because that's what I like to do. I got my scale here. We're going to weigh them, get real world weights. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's break them out. So you get the box, packaging. We'll get our first impressions. This is the front wheel, individually wrapped. So these are a little bit different from last year. Last year's wheels were the Revolve C38s. They retail for $1,300. They came with DT Swiss 350 hubs. Um, now with this year's wheel, this is a... Uh, Revolve C38, so same rim, but now it comes with a different hub. It comes with a new DT Swiss uh, 370 hub, and it actually is a ratchet hub as well, which I'll show you guys up close in a second. Uh, but they lower the price to $1,000, which I think is key. $1,000 for a name brand uh, company like Specialized or like Revolve that you see in the Tour de France, you see other people riding, uh, is huge to get a $1,000 wheel set, in, in my belief. I mean, I think it's like two, three years ago, Still, wheels were $1,600, $2,000. This is one of the best upgrades you can do if you do not have carbon fiber wheels. And I will repeat that. This is one of the best upgrades you can do to, to add speed to your bike. And it's always pricey because I'll get someone who buys a bike that's $1,000, $2,000. And then they go, okay, well, sell me on what the best upgrade I can do for my bike is. And I have to sit there and say, buy these wheels for half the price of your bike. And it's going to make you faster. And, and, you know, usually they'll think it's some kind of sales pitch, something like that. But I usually guarantee, I say, you'll gain about a mile an hour to two mile an hour faster. It's a lighter wheel than what your stock wheel is, so it'll rotate faster. With a little bit of an aero depth as well, you'll be able to maintain your top end speed easier so you're not working as hard. And especially if you're in a group, it's going to maintain that top end speed easier as well. Um, so again, you just won't get fatigued as quickly. You'll be able to be, stay fresher. You'll be able to, uh, to hold your top end speed a little bit easier. And then uh, what uh, should translate to is to be able to put out more power, which you should gain speed. Um, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, it's my job. But uh, it is honestly, the best way I say it to people, it's it's hard for me to say that and then them still justify thousands of $1,500 for wheel set. But as soon as they buy the wheels, any wheel brand, not Revol, any wheel, Reynolds, Windspace, whatever it is, they usually come back in and say, you're right, 100%, they notice the difference, they notice they're not working as hard, they're noticing that I have to put forth so much effort to carry that speed. So, but first initial impressions, you have a beautiful Revolve decal right here. So let me see if I can get over here. I'll show you guys this a little bit better. So matte carbon fiber rim, we have the Revolve decal. We have a little Revolve sticker on here. They come with tubeless valves already imprinted in here with the tubeless tapes. So unlike the CLX Rapids and the Alpinist, these are tubeless ready. Um, we have our little C38 branding right there as well but a really clean looking wheel set. So the 38 obviously stands for the depth of the wheel. Uh, they come with DT Swiss J-Bend spokes and also their new DT Swiss 370 hub. 
Uh, it is a ratchet hub. They made upgrades before they weren't ratchet hubs, I believe. So this is a ratchet hub. So you can do the 18 tooth, 36 tooth, or 50 tooth, uh, 54 tooth ratchet upgrade as well. But it's not their EXP, which is somewhat good for consumers um, because of the fact that it's a little bit easier to change out and a little bit easier to maintain uh, bearing swaps and stuff like that. But DT Swiss is a big name brand, a big household name. I mean, I, I, I feel like their hubs are very reliable. I love them to death. Very easy to work on. The end caps just pop off like this. Okay, I'm gonna look like an idiot now. I said that. But end caps just pop off like so, like, you know, take it like this. Okay. All right. Yeah, just take an end cap and just pop out like, you know, I'm gonna do the real wheel. But yes, you would just basically take this end cap, pop off, take this end cap, pop off. The bearings are here. They're easy to replace for mechanic. Very easy to work on. Um, but yeah, that's a front wheel. We'll wait until that. But like I was saying, for a big brand name like Specialized to release a wheel that's $1,000, to have DT Swiss backing with hubs and stuff like that, uh, one thing Specialized has over the, all these other companies like Windspace or uh, like these cheaper brand wheels that you're starting to see these Chinese carbon and stuff like that, I love Windspace wheels. I sell them here. I'm not bashing them at all. But to get, I think Windspace warranty program right now is like two years, whereas Specialized has a It, pro, it Happens program where literally you can crash these wheels within two years, and as long as you have proof of purchase, they're replaced with no problem. And then also Revolve gives you a lifetime warranty on the wheels for any manufacturer defect that happens. Same with DT Swiss, I'm not sure exactly what their warranty is, but they're such a big company that if there's any kind of manufacturer issue going on with the wheels or the hubs themselves, they replace them. The wheels are hand built and uh, in factory by DT Swiss or Revolve, wherever they're at. But it's, it's a really nice wheel set to get a Revolve branded carbon wheel and also a DT Swiss hub with the ratchet system going on here. They come stock with a Shimano drive body and I actually just sold a pair today. And so the guy bought a Tarmac Comp SL7. So it had SRAM EXP on, or I'm sorry, it had SRAM uh, 12 speed rival access or force or SRAM red. If you want to change this out, all you have to do is buy these wheels for a thousand dollars. Then you have to buy a SRAM XDR Freo body. You take it to a shop. I go ahead and pull like this, remove your Freo body. This is the Shimano one. I would take the SRAM Freo body, put it on here, and now you can have a SRAM hub on side here. So they're easy to replace. And these are the ratchets like I was talking about. These are not the EXP, these are the old school ratchets. These come stock with an 18 tooth. You can see the amount of 18 teeth on there. Uh, they have the DT Swiss grease on there already. And if we take a look at the internals of this hub right here, Pretty easy and standard tool. Uh, a lot of shops have this. This is the old tried and true way. And if you were to upgrade those, I've done videos, like I said before, the 54 tooth ratchet, uh, where it just makes it louder and have more engagement. I'll do a free body sound test for you guys to hear what the 18 tooth sounds like. But it's just reliability. DT Swiss is a big brand name, and Specialized is a big brand name. You know, you get these companies like, uh, these Chinese companies like OneSpace that are putting out fire product. They're putting out amazing product. Um, but longevity, you don't know what's going to happen after uh, four or five years, six years of riding them. So keep that in mind and that matter. But all we have to do is put this back on here. Hub pass, hub pass pops back on. And then these are both center lock as well. There is also a version of these wheels that they just released as well for 2022. Uh, they're boost edition. So the hub spacing is a little bit wider. I think that's for their Creo version. They have an electric e-bike that has a little bit wider spacing wheel. Those are $1,200 and it's a different wheel. Don't buy the Boost if you have a standard road bike. The Boost is only for a Boost set road bike and you would know what that was if you bought it because I'm sure the person will tell you when you bought it. But majority of road bikes are not Boost yet for road. Uh, mountain bikes are. But these wheels can be used for gravel, for road riding. They're a mix between aero for down here or a climbing wheel as well. They're a perfect all-around wheel of what you want to do for it. Uh, let's get some weights to go. So I'm gonna stop the video right now. I'm gonna set these things up and we'll weigh them. All right, so I got the scale out. We're about to weigh it. These are only made for disc brakes, so they do not make a rim brake option. Specialized is pretty much going all disc brake right now at this point. I got my handy dandy park tool, the ceramic speed scale. God, I'm freaking tired, man. You guys ever just wake up and start... You ever just start a sentence and halfway through that sentence you don't feel like talking anymore and you just mumble it? That's how I feel right now. 
All right, so this is the rear wheel and we have our tubeless valve in there. Right now it's being weighed at 895 grams for the rear wheel with tubeless valve and tubeless tape on there. So 895 grams. We'll keep that on there as well. Now I'm gonna get the front wheel. Ah! What the hell is that? It's a water bottle cage. Holy shit, this scared me, dude. <laughs> front wheel. 718. Oh, let me see, I'll show you guys. 718 grams for our front. So 895, 718. Do the math. I'll get your number in a second. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the calipers for this. I believe that they are proclaimed to have a 21 millimeter width for the internal. And I think it's 27 or 28 for the external. But I've seen people use this as a gravel tire. I've seen these before. Uh, back in the day, before they came out the, uh, not the Alpinus wheels, the Terra wheels. The, Terra, the CLX Revolt Terra wheels are now the dedicated Diverge uh, gravel wheel. These wheels, before that, the Revolve C38s were on the Diverges and they were running with the, with the um, gravel tires, like 42s and stuff like that. So you can use these with that if you want to. So let's go internal width. We're going to take it to 21 on the dot for internal width. So that smashes up. And now let's go for external. We're going to hit this with, and by no means am I Hambini or Peak Torque with engineering wise. I'm just a monkey with a dang caliper who works in the shop. 27 on the dot. Where the zero lines up with, you want to go right there. So yeah, 21 millimeter internal width, 27 millimeter external width for rim width right there. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, guys, those wheels are amazing. So benefit to this, you're getting a wheel that's cheaper than one space. They're $1,000. You're getting a big brand name like specialized the backing of Hoval, Roval. You're getting a DT Swiss hub that is tried and true. Um, you're getting workability. You're gonna have these parts in stock. These bearing wheels and stuff like that are gonna be easy to work on by other shops as well. So keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> oh, that's why I hit by the way. That right there, those cages. Oh, you guys wanna see what I'm working on right now? My shop's a mess. I'm, uh, I'm changing out this durry break. If you guys watch my Instagram story. For that to that. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll check out that later. But yeah, that's an S-Works. Some packages. Bone trigger. But yeah. Shit. Um, final verdict on these wheels. These are one of the best upgrades you can make for your bike. If you're looking for a reliable wheel set in the middle of everything, now if you want strictly aero for flat riding and you want a specific deep dish wheel, maybe look at the NV65 foundations or the wind space with the 50, the Hypers. Um, but if you want a backing and you want support from a local store and also um, lifetime warranty for these wheels as well, you can't go wrong with Revolve. They have one of the best warranty systems out. I will say this as a specialized deal. I know I'm very biased for this, but I will say this, that anytime I have any issues with kind of specialized products, they have consumers backs 1000%. There's a reason why their prices are a little bit higher, but I'm telling you right now to put out a wheel that's a thousand dollars is great. I think they really hit the nail on the head with this one. It's not a hookless rim. It's a clincher. You can run tubes, you can run tubeless. I think the max PSI is 130 PSI. I think that they, I think they really did. If you're going to be able to get them, I don't know. They're sold out right now. So I put these orders in as soon as these wheels came out. I want to say three months ago, four months ago. Uh, we got three in stock today. I sold one. I have another guy coming to look at uh, another pair tomorrow. And I should only have one pair left. They're sold out for the rest of the year. So you, the only way to get these and, and make sure that if you're looking on eBay, the 370 hubs are the new ones for $1,000. If you get the 350 hubs, they're still a good deal, but make sure you're not overpaying for them. Um, but yes, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We're so close to 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I got the face reveal coming up, which I'm going to show you guys my ugly face. I got the wind space wheel. What the heck am I talking about, bro? God. Um, <laughs> just, just stay tuned for the 20,000 subscriber, uh, giveaway. 
uh, 20,000 subscriber <laughs> video where we're going to be doing stuff. Um, I got my Crocs on. I got GC Performance stickers here. Check out my website if you guys want some merchandise, gcperformanceyt.com. Uh, use If you guys want a pair of Winspace wheels, I do have a discount code down below, GC Performance 10 uh, Get you 10% off at your checkout at your total purchase down below. Um, but yeah, guys, Revol C38 wheels. If you guys are looking for something to add to your Tarmac SL7 Comp or Tarmac SL6 Sport or Tarmac SL6 Regular or Trek Bike or whatever, these are the wheels. No lie. Tried and true. Rims are great, strong. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for the... Appreciate it. Oh, free of body sound test. Coming up right now. Hold on. So this is, again, with the 18-tooth ratchet. You can change this out for a 54-tooth ratchet very easily by buying a 54-tooth ratchet. A lot of my customers are buying the 54-tooth EXP ratchet. Do not buy that for these wheels. You need to make sure you ask. Ask a professional. Ask an adult. Go to a store, ask an adult, okay? There's different ratchets now. There's EXP and regular. So this is a Ratchet LN. Here comes a free buy sound test with a stock Revolve C38 for $1,000. That sounds dead quiet. Not a lot of drag. There's a ton of grease in there. But you put a, you put a 54 to the ratchet in there, it's going to sound like money. But maybe you like quiet. Maybe that's your thing. But the reason why they're so quiet, they have a bunch of that grease on there. Me personally, me personally, I take some of that grease off. I clean it a little bit, make it dry, and I put like a little bit of grease on that. And I don't know if you're supposed to do that because longevity wise and stuff like that. But if it was my wheels, I like to be annoying and piss people off. So I would clean a little bit of grease off and put that. There's like a little bit more grease on there. But that's between me and you guys. So um, you can make them sound a lot better. Thank you guys again so much for talking to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Let me borrow $20 to the